So you guys, I actually just pulled up. I'm getting ready to do my B12 shots because next weekend I have to go um before I leave with my first client, I'm gonna go ahead that Saturday because I fly out Sunday. I'm gonna go ahead Saturday and um do all my labs. I'm gonna do all my labs all this week, nothing but beetroot, 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 and I'm doing it twice a day, Monday through Friday, twice a day. Period. I think I'm gonna start Sunday night, so I'm actually gonna start tomorrow, Sunday night, all the way to next Saturday, all the way to labs. I'm doing it twice a day. I'm not paying for no sales saver. Um, I'm going by Target later to pick me up some more uh, blood builder uh, uh, vitamins because I'm out. I'm out. This is my third bottle. So I know my iron is good. My iron got to be good. So let's go ahead and go into this any test lab place. I'm supposed to give me a B12 shot. Don't stick me hard, girl. them in the loop because I'm a plastic surgery advocate okay. yeah so I have like a whole YouTube channel um, just educating like um, surgery sisters and stuff because mm -hmm. you know they go to recovery houses and stuff like that and, I, and they don't really just you know put you on you know like let you know this is how you pose it properly where your farm is you need to take your vitamins you need to walk you need to stay hydrated after I surgery like, i feel like they don't really care about like the after no they like, just want the money. Got it done. and it's just like you they have you feeling like they're a babysitter like you're mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and they just throw you in a room and give you that salty ass soup and <laughs> <laughs> I <do not> know. <laughs> out the can and then just are you okay okay mm -hmm. time for your meds and then close the door on you and turn the ac up <laughs> They're like I'm freezing. I'm okay. Uh, why your needle looks so long? <laughs> I guess I never really. Okay, let's just get it over with. I'm gonna just get it fancy ready. Yes, yes, yes. This is when I got. Do y'all do love and knock shots here or no? Which one? Love and knock. I don't think y'all no, probably know. Okay. The only shots we do are gonna be the B12. Oh, the lipo. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then the So what does the lipo do? A fat burner. But when you actually stick it in the stomach, do it stay in that area? It doesn't you stay move. In your arm or your hip as well. But it formulates your whole body? Mm -hmm. Oh see, I don't want to lose my fat in my butt. So I'm thinking like <laughs> if you put it in my stomach, it'll just formulate the stomach area, but it does the whole body. Mm -hmm. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> <sighs> All right. <sighs> Let me just get it over with. I just let the alcohol dry. Girl, don't tell me when you about to do it. Just do it. You're okay. Oh, it's not like right. I'm gonna just have you turn a little bit this way. Okay. One, two. Thank you, thank you. And 
Good. So I do it every two weeks, right? Every two weeks. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Let me go to your nail shops real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I know. Okay, would you like your receipt emailed or would you like it printed? No, it doesn't matter. Okay, we'll send it to you. Okay, so I have to change for this ultrasound mammogram for the breast aug. So let me go ahead and get changed and put my stuff in here. So I have to, I have to wipe this deodorant off because I wasn't even thinking and the lady didn't even tell me not to wear deodorant and that's the first thing I do. Like as soon as I use the regime in the morning, wash my hand and brush my teeth, I put deodorant on. Okay, so that should be good because I didn't put a lot. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and change. She said waist. Waist up. I have nipple pads on, so. Mm, I guess this is just how it goes. It's not on. Okay, you guys. All right, you guys. See you when I get done. Okay, you guys. So, oh, now I'm headed to. I downloaded that app. Well, I didn't download the app, but I went online to Jason Hill so I can come and get my hemo check myself. But actually, tomorrow I'm doing a full panel. But I just wanted to come and check it myself so I can at least know, like, I can at least know, like, what the levels are or whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to Quest Diagnostic, and it was $28. I think that was including tax and stuff like that or whatever. But I'm getting my CBC, CBC and I'm getting another panel check. Ugh. Let me find where it's at. Because I have like five minutes. All right, y'all. I'm trying to. No, you need to oh. verify your name. Oh. <laughs> we're just helping each other because we're oh, a little behind today. I know. Yes. Somebody left us today, so. Oh, yeah. that sucks. They walked out on. Did I sign it right? <laughs> right there. Jibble, You're good. Jibble. All right, and that's it. You have a good one. Thank okay. you. Honey. Enjoy your Friday. We hope you all too. <laughs> Okay, so that was fast. Okay, you guys, I had to add some more storage on my phone. First of all, good morning. I'm um at my doctor's office. I gotta get some more blood work. I'm gonna explain to y'all while I'm why I'm back here getting some more blood work. Um, and I'm about to get my EKG done. Um, so let me go do this urinalysis and I'll be back. Good. How are you doing? Lovely glasses. Oh, thank you. All right. All right, Miss Crystal. Yes. Awesome. How may we help you today? Yes. Yeah, so I'm coming for the wellness. I need to do my blood work and EKG. Okay. Why are you doing EKG? Um, cause I'm getting, I'm having surgery. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cause I was gonna say that's not a routine. I know. Okay. What? Are you okay? What kind of surgery you having? I'm having um plastic surgery. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So they just the com the company. 
Or the surgeons want you to do an EKG? Yeah, they told me to try to see if my PCP can do me. I did one last year mm -hmm. with Paraland over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. But if my Medicaid don't cover it, I can pay out of pocket for it. Okay. I think it was like thirty, forty dollars. Yeah. I don't know. That's fine. Okay. I love that oh, nail awesome. color. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Are you taking any medications for any chronic condition? Diabetes, asthma, no, high blood pressure. No. Okay. Thank God. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just my vitamins and you know. Okay, good. What type of surgery are you doing? Um, I'm, I'm doing, sorry, because I have to do Oh, this. yeah, no problem. Um, you're my doctor. <laughs> um, uh, lipo 360 and, um, mm -hmm. okay. and breast augmentation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a question for you, doctor. Yes, ma'am. Um, when my lab work come back, mm -hmm. do I contact you for clearance letter? I need clearance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Okay. So when your labs come back, we'll let you know. Yeah. That your labs are back. Mm -hmm. Usually, if everything is normal, yeah. you just release it to the portal. Oh, the portal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you need to talk to you about anything, mm -hmm. then we'll call you. Okay. And let you know. Gotcha. So then when you come back with your letter, yes. We just scan it in or give it to them at the desk. Okay. And we'll fill it out and call you. Yes. We'll yes, ma'am. Okay. So that's how I like it. Yeah, that's just to <laughs> show that you're healthy. Healthy, you don't yeah. Have any conditions. So they want to make sure you're not anemic, mm -hmm. your kidney liver is functioning well and mm -hmm. all that. Did they give you a list of what they want? Like a Oh yeah, she she, she uh huh. She got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Have you had blood transfusion in the no. past? No. Okay. Any other surgeries? Oh, yes, I have. I had lots of surgeries. Okay. <laughs> My mom said you like for them to cut on you like oh, a piece really? of meat. <laughs> well, I okay. had two C-sections. Okay. Um, in 05 and 08. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, then I had um, my twos tied after okay. my daughter. Mm -hmm. And then I had them reversed in 2018. Really? Yes. So you had another baby? No, I didn't have another Why baby. I was going to be a surrogate. Oh. And then COVID came. Oh. So then I went and got tummy tuck. Oh, I changed my, my mind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a list. Wow. And I had tummy tuck. Um, so two C-sections, BTL, mm -hmm. the reversal of BTL, tummy tuck. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, no, I had another surgery. I had, mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you're familiar with Indy, uh, Indy... In the oh, I can't remember. Like when you have heavy cycles, mm -hmm. endoscopic. Oh, endoscopic. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. So, okay. So, so they went in there and they scraped and everything, made sure I didn't have polyps and stuff oh, like okay. that or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. It was good. Mm -hmm. okay. Did they say you had endometriosis? Yes, that's what it is. Yes, there you go, doc. <laughs> yes, and a lot of women aren't familiar with that. Yeah. I had to educate myself yeah. on it. Yeah. Mm hmm. So I had that surgery and it helped so exactly. much. Yes. But they told me I have to stay away from sugar and lots of spicy food yes. or it can flare yes. back up. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Perfect. It's very good. I'm happy you're very, you're following up with your health and oh, your Oh, yes, ma'am. You know? Okay. So did you get the COVID vaccine? Oh, yes. I'm, I have both COVID so have and COVID both boosters. And, and I have flu shot. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have COVID and two boosters mm -hmm. and the flu shot. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So the EKG, I don't, I'm not sure if their machine is working. I know here. she said she was going to so check and see. We'll check and see. If okay. Least, we'll do it today. If not, okay. I have to come back to Pearland. I know. All what right. time they close today? Three. Oh, okay. So well, Pearland is not open today. They all oh, they not open today. We are the today. only one that's working. Yeah, mm. <laughs> we are the only ones working. So. Yeah, I'm gonna have to reschedule for that yeah. then. Mm. Okay. Well, at least I can do the rest of the oh, labs. Yeah. Oh yeah. The hard part out the way. It could be
Mm -hmm. Sound great. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I hope I I know I cleaned them good. Uh -huh. You're fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're fine. <laughs> you okay. My mom told me I need to buy I don't even buy uh Q tips. Mm. I've always been scared of, of Q tips. Q -tips. Yeah, don't, yeah. I don't like Q tips. Oh. We'll give you something that you can use. Oh, okay. Perfect. Okay. Do a big A for me. I did that. Leave that here. Okay. Big A. Ah. Uh, oh, very good. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. <laughs> she said beautiful. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. So you see this one? Uh huh. You use this to clean your ears. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So instead of using the Q-tips, because the Q-tips most times it pushes. The wax and anything in oh, there. Oh yeah. So with this one, this much better. Goes in, you scoop it and scoop, scoop, it. scoop, scoop. Woo! It doesn't hurt your ear. When you're done, you just rinse it out, put it in the drawer. Oh wow! And it's reusable. Oh, reusable. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. Thank All you, right. honey. You're welcome. All right. So we got you. We got blood work. Mm -hmm. I have your documentation set up. Yes. As soon as we get the results, we'll get back with you. And yes, ma'am. Your EKG, okay. Okay. Alrighty, and uh, how old are you now? Oh my goodness! <laughs> She's like, really? You're oh, really asking me that? I know. I'm asking you because of your exam, so uh -huh. you know what we need. Uh, what we need I did my my uh, mammogram yesterday. Perfect. Mm -hmm. No, I'm gonna ask that. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. So your mammogram is there, mm -hmm. and you're not. Uh, we're not close to the fit test yet for the colonoscopy, so you're oh, good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, you're good. How about the well woman exam? Yes, I have it scheduled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So yep. Top of the year. HPV, very good. Yes, awesome. yes. Okay. Yes, pH okay. is very good. Very good. Yes. <laughs> You on top of it. Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay. Nice to meet you. you too. Bye-bye. Right. Stop laughing at me. <laughs> you got them all? Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. All right. Oh, let me take my jacket off. Let me see once I'm going to go grab this. Okay. Um, you can do the left one. The left one? Yeah. That's cool. Did she check that EKG thing yet? Yeah, so um, basically it's not working. You're going to have to go to Pearland on uh -huh. Monday. Is uh -huh. that okay? Well, I can call them to reschedule. Oh, you don't have to schedule reschedule for um, an EKG. I just walk in? Yeah. Oh, okay. You just walk in and be like, hey, I just need an EKG. Okay. Um, and then they'll be like, okay. Just keep squeezing that ball. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what's up you guys? So I'm getting ready to go ahead and wrap up this video. Let me do a quick recap. Um, let me see, where should I start? Okay, so the beginning of this video, cause I wanna fill in some gaps. Cause I don't know, I had to buy some more, um, some more gigabytes on my phone or something. I don't know what the heck was going on, but yeah, your cousin had to, get some more storage okay um i'm headed home but no first i need to stop at best buy if you don't know what best buy is it's like a um electronic store like they sell like wash and dryers cameras like all kind of stuff for electronics for your house okay so anyway so the beginning of this video i'm gonna try to see if i can remember everything basically um i went to go get my b12 shot now 
do keep in mind a lot of people is not required to get the b12 shot when you're trying to build up your hemo but for me it works well with me with my system um so i always get the b12 shot and i get it like every two weeks especially if it's like 30 days prior to surgery really i try to start 45 days like i did my other surgeries but cliche so yeah and so basically i went and got my b12 shot you get it every two weeks i paid out of pocket for that moving forward um i went and da -da 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 -da. i want to say that i put in a clip in the beginning about me going to go get my embroidery on my uniforms but i'm not for sure um what else um secondly thirdly i went to go get a mammogram okay so with the mammogram they say that on the paperwork on the lab itself it says that for me for my breast augmentation that i need to do a um a bilateral ultrasound a bilateral breast ultrasound here in texas like they don't really give you those unless you have like pain issues or you have a referring physician that's sending you out to um, actually get one to see what's actually going on with you or to get a second opinion, like if they found a mask or something. So I fell in none of those categories. So I ended up getting a mammogram. Over the age of 35 or 40, I believe you it's required anyways that you should want to get a mammogram. So I called Vixen just to confirm because I paid out of pocket. It was $230. No, it was $253. Yeah, it was $253 um, for me to do that. It was $253 for me to do that. And um, I did that. She said the results will take five to seven business days. I'm like, okay, ma'am, because I need this stat. She was like, well, if, if I don't have the results within seven days, I'll talk to the doctor personally so he can read the results and we'll upload it in the portal so you can get it. Bam. Thirdly, I went to Quest Diagnostics. I went to Jason Health. Okay, so y'all going to see, you seen in the video where I went to Quest Diagnostics and I went to Jason Health to get my CBC checked. I wanted to go get it checked early so I could see like what levels I'm at. And then I feel like some laboratories, their levels, they kind of like fluctuates. I don't know, depending on what type of coding that they're using when they're um, sending these labs off and processing them and doing the coding and stuff. So yeah, so bam. Again, jasonhealth.com is a website that you can go to, whether you have insurance or you're paying out of pocket, you can book your own blood work, okay? Now, for the newbies, for the newbies, if you have just paid your deposit and you still don't have your lab work, it's okay. Reach out to somebody or you can even reach out to me. I'll send you like a pre um a pre-print out of how your lab should look especially like if you're getting a bbl lipo 360 and you just trying to put the pedal to the metal and you want to go get your stuff tested yourself now needless to say i went on jasonhelp.com i ended up paying i think 28 dollars. that was including taxes and for them like getting the results and stuff like that and the blood work or whatever so i end up doing two i think a cbc and then i did something else with my levels so I'm waiting on that to come back. I'm going to look in Quest. So you can get your results in Quest Diagnostics. So I'm going to look in Quest Diagnostics maybe in another 24, 48 hours. Okay. Thirdly, I went to my PCP. I went to my PCP today so I can get my full panel. Because like I said, um, you can still, you can use your blood work, lab work order to go to your PCP. But me, I was smart about it. I wrote down everything that I needed done because guess what? What they not going to do is they do my blood work and then they forward it over to Vixen and I'm not where I need to be. And technically, I still have 30 days to technically, logically get to where I need to be. So you're not going to send my stuff to Vixen and then if my stuff not where it needs to be, uh, Shanklin trying to make me do a cell saver. I'm trying to save as much coins as I can because I already added on another surgery to this procedure, okay? So on top of that, you have the right, you don't have to give them 
Now, if you don't have any hemo issues, you haven't been smoking hookah, you don't smoke cigarettes, you're not concerned about your nicotine and all that, you don't have to worry about that. But me, I smoked hookah like 30 days ago. It should be out of my system because I only smoked it once in February. But needless to say, just to be on the safe side, I wanted to uh, get everything checked for myself. So I did not give them my lab order. Um, I wrote down everything and then she ran my blood work and she signed me up as a wellness period ekg i'm gonna have to pay it out of pocket that ekg machine was down so that's why i did not record any of that the ekg if you're in texas i know a place that you can go i think it's like 35 40 dollars i think that's what i paid last time like 40 dollars no more than 40 dollars or whatever so she said uh, whenever I want to, I can come back and go to the other location and just do a walk-in. I did the urinalysis, the full blood panel. Um, and she said after my lab results come back and I'm in all green, um, she's going to go ahead and let, she said I can send over the form from Vixen so they can go ahead and give me a clearance. So um, other than that, I'll be good to go. Um, then after that, I went to the t-shirt shop um, to get my business logo printed on my my scrubs so yeah it's on and popping now i'm gonna go ahead and end this video because i have another video that i'm trying to hurry up and edit because i have so much content i'm trying to upload so that's why i didn't get a chance to really upload this week because i'm trying to blog like doing my business and i'm trying to blog like keeping y'all in tune with me too because my surgery is two weeks after my patient surgery so just bear with me i need y'all to catch up catch up cousin um, other than that, this is your cousin Crystal. Go ahead and press that thumbs up button. Don't forget it. Um, don't forget to turn y'all subscriptions on. Notifications. Other than that, y'all, I got cut off. I don't know what happened. But anyways, go ahead and thumbs up this video. Thank you. I feel like falling in love. I'm in the mood to fuck something up. I don't fucking something. I need some drink in my cup.